And so the transformation is x is equal to xi, I'm sorry, xj n hat j, and y is equal to yj n hat j. So in other words, x evaluated at the nodes in terms of the real coordinates times the shape function uh, defined in terms of par parent coordinates, uh, xc and eta. So the, these n hats, remember, are functions of xc and eta. And so we'll use a sort of generic stiffness matrix here. where we have a constant AXY. And so this is, this is the, the same as, you know, B transpose C, B, where C is equal to A, B, C. So it's nothing different than what we've been doing. It's just written out term by term. And so we want to evaluate this integral. And so we need to relate not only the shape functions to their parent shape functions, but also the derivatives of the shape functions to their parent derivatives. And of course, the same goes for these guys. All right. So if we look at partial ni, partial xc, and we assume that, well, we know that ni is a function of x, and x can be defined via this transformation. Then we can use the chain rule to show that we have, or if we write that in vector form, and we'll define this guy as a Jacobian matrix times that. And then using this relationship, I uh, have to go to the next page here, but finally we'll see that we're just going to invert that relationship. So ni partial x partial y is equal to the inverse of the Jacobian matrix times the partials with respect to xc and eta. And these are the guys that we want to substitute in, uh, substitute in the stiffness matrix equation. So let's also just you know, how do we come up with these partial, you know, the, the entries of the Jacobian? Well, partial x, partial xc is equal to partial, partial xc, xj, n hat j, according to the transformation, and that's equal to xj, partial n hat j, partial xc. And likewise, partial y, partial xc is equal to yj, partial n hat j, partial xc, partial x eta is equal to xj, partial nj, n hat j, partial eta, and partial y, partial eta, yj, partial n hat j, partial eta. All right. 
So we can also write the Jacobian matrix in terms of those. And from this, we can also see that it is partial n hat 1, partial xc, partial n hat 2, partial xc, partial n hat 3, partial xc, partial n hat n, partial xc, 